Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweepies. Today for you I'm going to be creating a fun abstract design that was inspired by a manicure I saw on Instagram and I'm not sure how you say the account's name so I will list it down in the description box below. But first off, I've already put on my base coat and on my two middle nails I'm putting on a perfector polish that is going to work for my like negative space background. It is Orly's rose colored glasses. And then on my other two fingers I'm actually going to put a color. So the first color is going to be pink and this is Here Wine NYC's bubble gum. And then I'm putting the yellow which is also by Here Wine NYC and that one is called Lemonade. It's a new release. And that is going to be the kind of base start for the whole design. I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of the milky neutral shade on the middle two fingers. And this is, like I said, Orly's Rose Colored Glasses. It's one of my favorite go-tos for like negative space manicures because it perfects the nail bed. And I really like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on the second coat of the cream polishes as both of those need two coats. Although they're really close in one, I went ahead and did two because I always like the feeling of having two coats of the polish on my nails. That's just my personal preference. Of course, if you have a one coater polish, go for it. But today I went ahead and did two. And then after that, we're going to be going in using these same polishes and a little brush to create some little wavy lines on the middle nails. Both of the nails are going to have kind of like mirroring nail art as best as one can and then I'm going to repeat it on both nails which you guys saw here I skipped that to make the video quicker so the first line that I did was a pink shade and then the second one is yellow and then I'm going to go in with an orange which for these I did actually use nail polish which I don't often for nail art but today I did so the pink was the bubble gum the yellow was lemonade and then this orangey shade is also by here one NYC and it is called peach please and I'm just freehanding these lines that they're not perfect by any means. The brush that I use is a really old one that I will use for nail polish because I don't like to use my really good brushes with nail polish because nail polish doesn't always come off a brush super nicely. So that's why I have dedicated ones for that. And then at the bottom I'm just using some white nail polish using the default like brush that is on the bottle too. And I'm putting in a white swoop of white I guess a big swoop of white I don't know how else you would say it just a swoop of white at the bottom and it kind of disappears into the background but I did it on both nails and for the white I just used um, a china glaze white that I had out on my desk I think this one is called summer moon I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure and then in that white space I'm gonna go in with a light gray and put some little kind of elongated dots and that is gonna kind of complete this manicure I'm going to repeat this step and then whenever I'm done with all of that I'm going to put on either a matte or shiny top coat. It is up to you. I think I ended up doing about both and I think I landed on a matte so you'll see it very in the photos because I was being very indecisive. But that covers this full design. It's really fun, really easy to do and like I said this was inspired by an Instagrammer that I follow so I will link her down below and throw up a screenshot in just a moment so you guys can see her and go follow her nails because they're always great and fun and inspiring definitely if you're low on inspiration. So that is officially it for today's quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to y'all soon in another new video. Bye!